Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. I decided to give you Libras a bonus read only because uh, it was brought to my attention that I kept mentioning Virgo in your uh, in your reading. I do apologize for that. Um, not sure when I channel uh, the messages just come through. Um, so I'm not sure what was that all about. <laughs> so we're going to do you guys another read. Um, I know how annoying that could be um and it just doesn't sit well with me either so i heard you guys so here we are giving you guys another bonus read okay so libras i hope you guys um enjoy this one better <laughs> all right let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of june 2021 in regards to love and romance libra sun moon rising venus how are you doing libra I hope you're not that upset with us. <laughs> we apologize. I'm not sure what that was all about. But anyways, let's get in your reading. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what is unfolding in regards to your love and romance. One more. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys remember these are general readings. If they do not resonate, make sure to check your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or uh, Venus uh, sign. Sometimes um, they will connect deeper. Uh, if you listen to your multiple placements, sometimes it's like an abstract picture when you're able to get uh, or when things resonate in specific um, in specific placements, it makes uh, or it adds to the puzzle with a better, clearer picture. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So we're starting off with the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Strength card, ooh, Six of Wands, and the Judgment. Beautiful cards, Libra. So you're coming up as the Two of Pentacles. You may be a, a bit struggling right now or feeling like you have to make a choice. Uh, for some of you guys, this is indecision. Being a bit confused, for some of you guys, it could have to do with uh, dealing with the person from the past with the Judgment card here. Um, it can also represent um, feeling a bit unsteady when we're talking about connections. Um, it could be almost a feeling of, because your partner's coming up with the Ace of Cups, your partner or person of interest. So this is a person that is willing to give it another try or that, and I say willing to give it another try only because we have judgment here. So this is speaking to me directly about the past, past energies. However, Ace of Cups always represents a new beginning. So this may resonate for some of you guys if you've been dealing with a person from the past and it just doesn't seem to, uh, you know, communication could be lacking or there could be a lot of misunderstandings right now, especially because of retrograde. Two of Pentacles is feeling like there's a lot of uncertainty and you're a bit confused when, when it comes to your emotions. However, how the person is viewing the situation is the Ace of Cups. So there is still love there. Uh, for some of you guys, this could represent a new connection. This could be a new person coming into your life around the month of August. Uh, the reason I say that is because we do have the Strength card here. And this is the Leo Energy card. But they are telling me August for some of, for some of you. Uh, so you may be embracing a new beginning. You may be dealing with a Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For others of you, it may be a Leo. Um, for others of you, it could be Fire Energy. Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and we also have Earth energy here. So we have all the placements, um, but what they are saying here is the month of August is going to be a, it's going to propel you um, for some of you guys to start a new beginning, a, a new endeavor when we're talking about relationships and connections. Uh, you may be um, being pulled towards someone or someone may be pulled towards you in the month of August. Um, and with the strength card, I feel that the energy is going to be very explosive. You guys are going to be extremely physically attracted towards each other. That's if you are on already not dealing with someone like that, where the physical connection is just astounding. It's almost like the sexual tension you can cut with the knife. Um, if this resonates with someone from your past, I do see them coming back around and trying to contact you. I see them being open or being able to be, they're willing um, to give this another goal. They're willing to, and I feel that in the past, they, there could have been some hesitation, but I feel that moving forward, they're coming in and they are finally becoming emotionally available, meaning they're not, they're not playing games. They're serious about, 
uh, where can we take this connection? Where can we take this relationship? Now, like I said, for those of you guys that are single, there is definitely love coming towards you. Um, this is definitely a very, um, very strong connection, and I keep hearing physical attraction. So you're definitely going to know who this person is because there's going to be some type of magnetism towards them. You're going to be very drawn towards them. Now, the advice here is the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is all about victory, but it also speaks about getting a lot of attention, Libra. Now, if you listen to our January reads, um, when we're getting ready to do the predictions for all the year, Libras was one of the signs that this year and next year, it's going to be very uh, relationships and partnerships are going to take center stage for you guys. So again, the Six of Wands is a representation of you getting attention, getting accolades, uh, your reputation growing within your circle or within your friend circle. Um, for others of you, this can also represent a person uh, that was at a distance or has been at a distance, uh, being able to actually put effort in coming to see you. So those of you guys that are at a long distance or there was a falling out because of the distance, I do see them stepping up and again, wanting to give you this, this opportunity, not opportunity, but wanting to give you uh, this love proposal or where do we go from here? Can we fix it? Can we work it out? Um, I do see them coming towards you. Uh, so again, I feel that you're going to be very much in your head about this Libra. Um, for some of you guys, it could even represent that uh, right around the time that a person from your past, someone you've been waiting or wanting to hear from, comes around, uh, you may actually be indecisive because there is, uh, it's almost going to feel like you're juggling two people at the same time. Um, and, and again, especially because they're telling me this connection is going to be very strong. Um, you, you just may feel like, you know, deep down inside that this new connection can lead somewhere. It, it can actually, uh, you know, be started on a solid foundation. So there is a bit of hesitation or fear. Should I embrace the past or should I move on from that? Should I embrace this new beginning? However, they are telling you there's going to be a decision that needs to be made. So again, um, my advice is if you're feeling like you're in between two people, um, usually the person from the past, if you're hesitant or you still have to wonder or ask, uh, should I give them the opportunity? More often than not, the answer is no. Why? Because if you know without a doubt this is what you've been wanting, this is what you've been hoping for. When the opportunity arises, you jump at it and you just, you know, it's just in your heart, in your soul, you just feel like you got to go for it. So again, my advice, if you feel there's hesitation, embrace this new beginning, because I feel that those of you guys that are going to feel like you have to make a choice and you're not really sure or you're scared, um, going back to the past can also represent kind of like setting yourself up for failure um, because you may fear that this new beginning is going to take effort and energy and do I really want to put effort and energy in that if it's not going to work out but if you think that way you should shift your energy into thinking what if you do take yourself or give yourself this opportunity and it turns out much more better than you ever hoped for so again if you feel like you're in between two people or you have to make a decision, if the person from the past um, still has you wondering or questioning, uh, it, it's kind of like that that saying, you know, if you genuinely love someone, you're not going to fall for someone else because you can't. You're emotionally invested in that person. So if you do fall for someone else, then that just means you weren't really in love with with this person to begin with, or perhaps uh, that love died down or uh, based on other people's actions or how the dynamic was, uh, people grow apart. So again, embrace this new beginning Libra. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I definitely feel a very different energy from this reading to the previous one that we did. Uh, so again, I'm not sure if Virgo need, some Virgos needed to hear uh, that video. And that's why I kept calling um, calling that video Virgos. Um, so I'm not sure what that was all about, but this is a very def definitely a very different vibe. So again, 
I am more than happy to be able to do these readings for you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this reading, and I wish you guys the best. Till then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.